Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble and welcome to your readings for June the 4th through June the 10th. Wow, time is flying by. Excuse my little raspy voice. I was obviously shouting too much <laughs> at the uh, conference in Chicago, but I'm back and I'm ready to rock and roll, feeling fantastic, feeling energized and inspired. Um, first of all, I want to thank all of you who tuned in for the live uh, announcement of the winner and the readings. I think when I'm out of town, instead of posting the readings, I'm going to do live readings like that so we can do, you know, have some interaction. Um, because sometimes it's easier to do that than to, you know, record and upload and it takes forever, guys. I'm not complaining, just stating a fact. Um, thank you for all the likes, the comments, the shares and the new subscribers. And please, please like my videos. Please share them on your social media. Um, we need that uh, promotion so that people will subscribe. The more subscribers we have, the more we'll get this word out there, right? So um, let me go into the astrological report and it's very short don't worry and I this is for your sun moon and rising guys so if you know your moon and rising the links will be in the description box the show more section box below um, and it's a general reading as well guys so if you would like a personal reading the information is up here I believe maybe I'll get that right this time um, it should be a right now um, now also I'm on Patreon please check out my Patreon page another way to support me a dollar a month that's you know nothing to you huge to me and um, instant go I have there's a, all the links will be in the show more section so I don't want to go on because I've been accused of rambling on too much. <laughs> I have to listen you know I appreciate feedback guys just be kind when you give it to me <laughs> please so we're just coming out of this beautiful grand trine with um, Venus in Cancer, Scorpio in uh, Jupiter in Scorpio and Neptune in Pisces. It's beautiful water trine, right? So very romantic feeling. So we're just coming out of that. So I'm sh I hope you all, oh, my dog's sneezing. <laughs> oh, poor Sparky. <laughs> anyway, um, so now, so I hope you had a beautiful romantic weekend. Now, um, Tuesday and Wednesday is what we want to uh, look at this week. Um, so Venus in Cancer is opposing Pluto in Capricorn. And this is going to play out probably in your personal relationships, either your partner, um, your romantic relationship or your family members. So you have to ask yourself, Am I being controlling or is my partner or my family member being controlling? Where is that? Where are my boundaries? Um, and it is a good time to be diplomatic and really um, speak your truth at this time, but in a very soft and receptive way. So if you're being controlling, then look at it. Or if your partner's being controlling, you need to kind of... Um, set some boundaries in place gently but firmly um and then on wednesday the sun is square the sun in gemini is square to um neptune in pisces now this is kind of a it's kind of it's kind of a bit we're going to kind of feel a bit fuzzy if you will it's very kind of uh neptune it's very ethereal it's very dreamy um i would say that things are going to be kind of a little confusing. So I would say if you're if you're in a I would definitely put off signing any kind of contracts while this energy is around. And if you go into a business meeting, it's very important to be clear. Like if you don't understand something, say what do you mean by that? You've got to make sure that you have clarity at this time because everything's going to be a little confusing and a little uh soft at the edge it's fuzzy and not clear so it's very important to have clarity at this time um so that's all there is for the astrological report for this week and uh let's go to your reading shall we hello 
Hello Capricorn and welcome to your reading for June the 4th through June the 10th. Don't forget it's a general reading so if you'd like a personal reading the information is right here in, no it's not, it's here actually at the beginning of the video. Um, okay so the first card up for you is the Ace of Wands darling. This is like an amazing opportunity. I feel that you might have a brilliant idea, particularly if you're meditating, it's really a perfect time to get that, those downloads that we are being given messages and brilliant ideas at this time. Now this is an idea, this is like a little spark, you know, before it turns into a big fire. So this is the start of something very exciting, very passionate and um, very lucrative. It's like a gift, so we can really, if we can fan these flames, something amazing will come out of it. But clarifying it is the Ten of Swords. I have a feeling that you've had a really difficult time, some of you. Look, this is like, in this deck of these, <laughs> they're all stuck. Listen, tens mean the end of something right and the beginning and this is a 10 and this is the beginning so this is the end you've got the end of a really difficult time it's coming to closure and this is like this to me is like a turning point in your life right the 10 of swords it is leaving behind the person you used to be it's like you know, perhaps you were, you were, a, I don't want, a doormat comes into my, comes right into my mouth. Perhaps you were a doormat. Perhaps you were just a yes person and just allowed people to walk all over you. And you are leaving that person. This is like a, leaving the old paradigm behind, the old behaviors and going forward with passion and new energy. Um, this is a turning point in your life. You're over, it's, it's almost like a rebirth. It's becoming the person that you're meant to be. You're leaving this person behind. You've brought all that wisdom that you've learned and you can no longer be that person. You just can't be that person anymore. So you are moving away from this. And it's almost like you're reborn, Capricorn. You are changing at a cellular level almost, you know. <clears throat> You're leaving the old you behind and going forward. And look, the next card you've got is the three of wands. This card comes up, it's saying, listen, make long-term optimistic plans. Look, he's right in the harbor waiting for a ship to come in. He doesn't, he knows his ship is coming in, right? And you've got clarifying it is the eight of rods, you know, eight is abundance, you know, energy. This is like, you know, that also is like the infinity sign, right? So things are really looking up for you, right? You are, things are really paying off for you, uh, Capricorn. And it's, it's because of this really, um, major change that you've made within you. You are a different person now. So you must make long-term optimistic plans. I'm not talking a few months, I'm talking years. Like really make those plans, write them down, you know, definitely write them down. And you've also got the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Pentacles is like, you really need to kind of, it's almost like learning from the past, right? So this is about weighing, it's, it's like looking at what, all the hard work that you've done and really seeing what has paid off and what hasn't. So all that effort that you put into this, whatever it is, the situation that you've done, you know, that you've had, has it paid off? Is it worth the effort that you put into it? So it's almost about, I feel that you've got to kind of look at the, uh, look at the books in terms of, um, effort versus uh, rewards. Rewards isn't the right word I'm looking for. It's about 
weighing the pros and cons. Did the work that you put in really pay off? Was that effort worth what you got back, right? So this is about really um, looking at something with a fine tooth comb and really kind of learning from it, right? Move it, perhaps moving in a different direction. If that has not paid off for you, if it's not working out, if the effort at far outweighed the, you know, the rewards, right? Um, now, the next card you've got is the seven of cups and another seven, right? I always say seven is about going inside, quietening the mind. Look at all these opportunities. You've got all these cups. These are opportunities. These are gifts from the universe. There's so much happening um, that you really need to kind of choose the right opportunity, if you will. There are all, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm afraid you can't have them all. You've got to kind of make the right choice, right? That's going in. Now, I have a fear, I have a feeling that you're kind of in fear of making the wrong choice. You're afraid of making the wrong choice because you think that you're going to be in deprivation if you do. So sometimes not making the choice is worse you know, it's almost like a self-professed, you know, self-professed prophecy, right? If you will. So it's really important. You've got to make that decision. Go inside, connect with, you know, God, with source energy, with the universe and make it from an intuitive uh, aspect. Really your gut feeling, go with your gut feeling, but only after you've meditated. And you, when you meditate, you're not in this fear. You know, that fear goes. It's not, you're not in this fear fear of not having enough that's the old you right you'll leave that person behind leave that fearful person behind change going forward you have this incredible beautiful gift from the universe this is you know when things really are starting to pay off and you're starting to see the results of your hard work so <clears throat> I feel that you've got loads of opportunities, darling. You just have to make the right choice. And I mean, I don't mean make the right choice. You have a lot of choices. You have a lot of options. And that's what you've got to remember. Come out of the fear and you have changed. You're moving on. So now I'm going to move on <laughs> and uh, pull um, a Whispers of Love card. First, we'll do, uh, we'll pull one for the uh, single Capricorns and then we'll pull one for the Capricorns in relationships okay Capricorns this is for single Capricorns what do the what wonderful messages and blessings guidance do the whispers of love have for single Capricorns Oh, there it is. I have to put my glasses on. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. Oh, this is about speaking in your partner's, oh, this not your partner because this is for the single Capricorn. This is like, you know, spreading the love, darling. Find out what really makes people happy, you know, what makes them feel love and express it in their language. Look, when you give love out, love comes back, right? Okay, so now let's do, uh, pull a card for Capricorns in relationships. Let's see what we have for Capricorns in relationships. Okay. Okay. Capricorns in it. What wonderful messages do we have for Capricorns in relationships? Oh, there it is. Act 
act as if your partner is here. That's so funny. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. This really goes for single Capricorns too. You know, feelings are magnetic. And you know, you don't feel alone when you act like someone is with you, right? It's the law of attraction. You'll always be considerate of the other person when you act like they're with you. Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. To inquire about or purchase any of Mary's services, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.